Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, Best Buy's Gamers Club Unlocked. If you live in the US, you probably heard about this Gamers Club Unlocked already. I don't remember when they actually started this program. I joined it around two years ago. And as you can see in the beginning of the video, I just renewed my membership for another two years. In this video, I'm going to talk about is it really worth to get a Gamers Club Unlocked? And before we go any further, there are a few things I want to clarify. First of all, this video is not sponsored by Best Buy. Also, it's not a video try to tell you you must get it or you must not get it. It's pretty much my last two years experience with Gamers Club Unlock, also buying games from Best Buy. So you can use this as your reference to decide if you need it or not. I believe for some people, Gamers Club Unlock can save them a lot of money. But I also believe for certain people, they probably don't really need it at all. Also, in the end of this video, I am going to show you the way to get a deal or save money on buying games from Best Buy. So let's start with what Gamers Club Unlocked benefits. So in the back of this card, I should show you a list of benefits that the Gamers Club Unlock offers. Since it's kind of hard. To read from here so let's check it from their website now we are on the best buy scammers club page first thing we want to look is the price so for the membership is two years for thirty dollars and each time you purchase you must buy two years now let's go down to see the list of benefits that a gamers club offers before we look into one thing I want to mention is I think in order to join it you also need like a Best Buy reward member or some membership which is totally free and uh, I strongly suggest you guys join it because you actually get like some reward back which I think is around 0.8% I know it's not a lot but it's actually just better than nothing now let's look into gamers club membership so as you can see there are actually two different type of membership one is a free membership that means everybody can join also the other is the gamers club unlock which you need to pay thirty dollars for two years first let's check what the actually the free membership offers first is the double points on video game trading and the other is the exclusive gaming offers but to be honest I don't remember there's any remarkable like uh, exclusive game offers. I guess it's just probably something they just put there. And uh, the next two is just a redeem reward certificate and uh, you get the points on game consoles. This is pretty much the same as a regular reward member. You can get the points on pretty much everything you purchase from Best Buy and you can get a certificate and use it to buy anything from Best Buy. So as you can see the free membership is pretty much nothing. Now let's check the Gamers Club Unlocked. So first thing we see is 20% off new video game software. I believe most people who join this is for this 20% off. Unlike Amazon Prime which they only give you 20% off on full retail price game. And you also need to make the purchase in the first two weeks when the game released. For Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked, you actually can get 20% off in any new game even though it's in clearance. So if the game is for $10, then you only need to pay $8 for it. So it's actually way a lot better than Amazon Prime. Next is a 10% bonus trading credit and 10% of pre-owned video games. So this is pretty much the same as GameStop's Power Up Reward Pro. And to be honest, if you are the person who mainly looking to buy pre-owned games, I strongly suggest you just go for Power Up Reward Pro because they have way better pre-owned game selection than Best Buy. Uh, next one is a 20% off video game e-guides. I mean, this is the most stupid shit i ever seen. Who the hell buying e-guides? I mean, there are so many free stuff online now. I mean, you can get a lot of books through on YouTube or some trophy guides. And why you spend money on e-guides? I mean, you might as well just throw your money into the water. <laughs> so obviously, you will not sign up for Gamer Clubs Unlock just for this. And next will be double points on new video game software, digital content, and game accessories. So for regular reward membership member, you got around 0.8% reward back. So you got double, now it's around like 1.6. 
Back to the day, they used to give like uh, almost two percent for regular reward members. So when the gamer clubs unlock member, you actually get uh, almost four percent, which is actually really good. But I think last year, two thousand sixteen, they changed it, so it's not a little good anymore. But just like I say, it's just better than nothing, I guess. And now the last thing we are looking to is a special welcome coupons. So I think that normally it's a day after you join, they will send you an email including three coupons. And I think the first one is uh, five dollars off on a new game, which is at least twenty nine ninety nine. So if you use it, you actually get a five dollars back right away. Also, they have the fifty percent off strategy guide. So it's actually the physical strategy guide, not the e guides. So if you are a person who actually buying strategy guide, this is actually a really nice coupon. And the last one is a pre owned game, buy two get one free. So this is pretty much the same as the pro membership from GameStop. And uh, I mean, I don't buy pre owned game at all, so this really use this to me. But I know for a lot of people who buy pre owned game, this is actually a very nice deal. So I think those are all the benefits that the Gamers Club Unlock offers. And before we go back, I want to show you one thing. So if we go up, you see here is a small print. It says Gamers Club Unlock 20% of video games benefit. Does not combine with promotions, advertising based by stance giving day, physical ad, or expanded digital ad. So it pretty much says that you cannot use Gamers Club Unlock on Black Friday, which I think let's start this on 2016. This is pretty much tell you don't buy games from Best Buy during Black Friday. Because if you wait a few more days for Cyber Monday, sometimes you can get the same deal with Gamers Club Unlock. Also, if you are not in a hurry, you just wait a few more months, you probably will be able to get uh, the same deal or even better deals. And that's why I didn't buy any game during Black Friday last year from Best Buy. So now let's go back. I just show you the benefits of Gamers Club Unlock. Now let's back to the topic. Is it really worth to get a Gamers Club Unlocked? Let's look at it this way. The membership is two years for thirty dollars. In order to get your money back, you need to spend hundred and fifty dollars in new games during those two years. So if you actually spend more than that number in two years, I don't see there's any reason why you should not get it. You definitely get your money back, and you also got additional benefits. And if you're a person who mainly buy peon games, then just like I said before, I think. GameStop's Power Reward Pro actually better for you since they have way better pre-owned game selection. Also, the price is the same, fifteen dollars per year, and you only need to pay annually. You don't need to pay like two years ahead. And you also get like a Game Informer magazine for a year. So for the pre-owned game buyers, I think uh, Power Up Reward Pro is. Something you should looking for another really gamers club unlock. If you are a person who mainly buy digital game, not the uh, physical games, then I don't think a gamers club unlock has anything to do with you. So it always depends on what you need, I guess. For me, I mainly purchase a brand new game. I don't buy pre owned or digital games at all. So this gamers club definitely works for me. That's why I should renew for another two years. Now I want to talk about a couple things that I don't like when I shop games from Best Buy. I think Best Buy has really poor game selection compared to other major retailers in the US. And I'm not going to compare it with like GameStop since that is a store mainly sell video game. Or compare with like Amazon since that's an e-commerce site who has best selection. And I'm just sort of compare it with like Walmart, Toys R Us, and Target. And I want to say Walmart is probably one of land has best selection either on their website or in their store. Toys R Us also has pretty impressive selection in their store. Also on their website they actually carry some games that the normal retailers will not carry. I found out their store like last year and I'm pretty impressed with their selection of games. And Target is pretty much the same as Best Buy. But the difference is sometimes I can find a surprise in Target. They sometimes still sell the game that the other retailers do not sell anymore. And that is something I don't see in Best Buy at all. However, if you are a person who mainly shop for like a triple A title like uh, GTA or FIFA or Call of Duty or any game from Ubisoft, for those bigger titles, then you don't need to worry too much. 
because Best Buy will carry those scans. But if you are a person like me who like buying those Japanese scan or those indie scan has a physical release, then you are kind of out of luck because they normally either do not sell it at all or they have very limited quantity. That means they probably will sold out their quantity before the price start dropping or since they have very low quantity, they probably not even go into lower their price. The other thing I don't like is their value gain pricing. So in Best Buy, they have a low price tag on value gain, so either $20 or $15. And uh, it seems like they can limit their price in low price. Even though sometimes you might find something around $5 or $6, but that's not a common. And for those value gains, for a lot of retailers, they probably sell it less than $10 already, but the Best Buy still limit their price to like $15 or $20. For example, like this one, Walmart has already sold less than $10. So in this case, you just pretty much use price match. So keep in your mind when you buy games from Best Buy, check the other retailers' price like Walmart or Amazon. If they are way a lot cheaper than Best Buy, then just use price match. So this is one way you can actually save money on buying games from Best Buy. So now since we talk about pricing already, so let's check how to get a deal and save money on buying games from Best Buy. So now let's jump back to their website. Now we are on the Best Buy's homepage. And this is just some tips that I normally use when I purchase games. You might know some of those tips already, but if you don't, I hope this can help you save some money on buying games from Best Buy. Every Sunday morning, Best Buy will change their weekly ad. So the first thing I normally do during the Sunday morning is check their weekly ad. So this is pretty much the same thing you might find in the newspaper, but the one on their website actually has more detail. So I normally go in and directly jump into the video game session, so I will be able to know what's going on for the coming week. And you can see there are some games it's on sale. And the other place I will go is this deal of the day. Every day Best Buy will offer special discount on many different items which include video games. Sometimes those deals might be as good as Black Friday deal or even better. So if we look at today's deal, we see there are actually a couple games on sale. And I think the price looks really good, so I actually got this deal. So here's another place you check if you want to get some deal for games. Now let's keep going down and then you will see here is a video game station. If we click into we can see all the current video game deals. Normally I like to check here during the middle of the week because sometimes they will add more game into the deal in the middle of the week. So I want to make sure I do not miss any of them. If we click into this safe on select video games, we can see all the games that are on sale at this moment. And my final tips is make sure you actually subscribe to their newsletter or like those email notification. I know a lot of time you might get a lot of garbage, but sometimes they will inform you if there's any sales event going on, like those four hours flash sale or like those two day or three day sales. Sometimes they might even give you like one day early assist so you will not miss those deal. Also, a couple times a year they might send you like a gift certificate, like those $5 or $10. So those are all the tips that I am using to save money on buying games from Best Buy. So now let's go back. That's it for this video. I hope you find something useful. If you have any question or concern, just leave a comment below. And thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future.